Hello and welcome everyone to part 55 of the Adresian Kingdom Let's Play. For Total War Room 2 we continue where we left it off last time and we are, well, some of you are quite confused, um, where is it, by what was going on here. Um, it looked as though the Scordisi were about to take Odessos um, during the end phase but the Bithyanians have pulled away. Um, so it's up to us now to claim it. We can move in and retake our homeland. Going for an order resolve in here to take it. And it's a good thing because we've now got a strong army back in Odessa. So I managed to pull this one over. We're just going to occupy. Hoping they haven't wrecked anything here. No, they've just... Uh, oh, no. They've just required us to repair it. Um, we could get upgrade that for more veterans and what have you. But I think at the moment we're going to hold our money here. We're going to let everything replenish. There's a powerful army that I have here. Uh, we can increase our campaign map movement range and replenishment rate with that as well. So we'll look to do that shortly. Let's just have a look at our enemies now. Uh, how they've gathered again. Literally just come off recording Seleucid, so it's really difficult for me to switch between the two because they're so similar. I'm going to be quite glad when the Seleucids finish actually. It shouldn't be too long now, um, so I should be able to get kind of a little bit more into the swing of things of the Adresians. So, Bethianians have pulled back with their army over here. Chimerians over here, the Tillis are holding here. We pulled this spy over to see what we could do. Um, and I'm still cons well trying to work out what I can do against the Athenians, because no one else seems to be able to come down here so far. And we've lost we've had our agents stars glitch out, which is annoying. They're back now. Um, I was thinking I could potentially do that or I could just assassinate you and get rid of you. Um, let's just try and let's go for Conceal Blade. Let's risk it. Enemy's been wounded. Okay, we'll take that for now. So this army's got to stay here. We've got to try and just, I guess, wait. We need to draw Athens out. But the thing is, they're not going to be drawn out. They refuse to be drawn out while they've got this empire over here in the east. And I'm still struggling against, um, well, I'm struggling against Rome over here. And they're about to strike me with two full armies, which is not good. What am I going to spawn at Syracuse? I'm going to spawn six units, Thracian warriors and skirmishers. Um, I'm not going to build anything else here. Well, what's the strongest army? Well, it's a 20 stack, isn't it? We're going to try and use my spy here to take them out of the equation. Now, I could go for poisoning, which would be great. But I kind of need to go for the critical, which wreck baggage train has a higher chance of the critical occurring. It's been successful. They cannot act or move. So we could now move to try and strike these guys, but I think that's going to be a bad idea. Um, because they are just going to... Um, well, it's just going to keep them both there. So I'm just going to use this. I'm hoping that this just one army comes to attack me, but in the meanwhile I'm going to build up more Thracian Warriors. We've got to go for a massive charge here. We do not have the defence, though. Unfortunately, we don't have the defence. We don't have cavalry. We are quite screwed, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure whether to pull back from here, really, to a position of strength and take Syracuse and try and pull back. Um kind of want to give them a little bit more fight in that, but it looks like Rome is coming for me. I'm probably going to regret the decision to stay here for another turn, but we'll see what we can do. Um, these guys, Syracuse, what's left of them up here. Valathari, we're going to push out with our army and just claim a little cheeky auto-resolve here. Finish these guys off against the cliffs, going for a protective stance to try and reduce our casualties. And that's where they came there. So we're now going to actually force march these guys back down to Rome. Uh, upgrade the traditions of the army. With further attack range, and we will go for uh, traditional losses when under siege. We'll go for formidable fighters for now, um, and then we'll go for increased replenishment rate. What's this? Tradesmen, corruption, and research. We don't really need that ammunition. Let's go for ferocious warrior. Um, right, this army at Genoa is back, and we're going to take them up towards Bibracti. Um, so we're going to go up via Octoduron over to here. And this is probably one of my best armies, um, because you can see my chosen archers, their gold chevron, uh, two ranks of uh, gold chevron veterancy. So once we push through here, we're going to push back against the loose time. We need to basically... 
We've got to hold the east as long as possible while we swoop back round here. So that's where my advance needs to be. I wonder I wonder if I could be cheeky enough to get a piece with Rome. This is mm, I wonder. Welcome, but expect No. If only I could get a piece with them, I could try and stop them. But at the same time, I mean, a piece with Athens as well would be vital at this point, or Pithenia. To just try and stop the assaults coming. But for now, we've got to, we have to fight on multiple fronts, which is breaking us, because it means we have very slow progress trying to push on through. Dacothrations we've managed to pull here with the new army, so we're going to pop them back in. We're going to try and build them up. We're going to get some more veterans in, so we can spawn for now. Oh, the German Confederation, they're good. Uh, Germans, I need, <laughs> I need you guys to hit Athens. I need some help from my allies to push them back. Uh, so I've got those archers over here, which is great. And uh, we're then going to swap them, I think, over to Noria. But we'll have to leave them for now. Um, let's put... What level's their champion here, actually? Um, he's not great. But we could probably defect him. There we go. So, meanwhile, my spy. Let's try and get her down here to try and help out my forces. My force at Rome. We need to take out Al um, Alia over here. Um, I'm just trying to check out what have I got going. Um, right, well, I've got defensive alliance with the, with the Gallic Confederation. I have lots of military allies, actually. Which are helping them out. I mean, Bactria is surely helping a lot over here. I mean, they're at war with Athens and everybody else. They've, they've got a huge war going on. Uh, the Massagate are not that friendly, and they're probably at war with these guys. Yeah. Uh, Bactria is doing a grand old job. I don't know why they're so friendly with me. Uh, I mean, what is it? Oh, it's because I'm at war with all their enemies, essentially. It's just, but oh, we got f we have fi we are 509 happy with them. They will never break I with me, I wouldn't have thought. Um, military access. I wonder if it, yeah, I can do it. And if I could demand a crazy amount of money from them. No. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them military access because there's no way that gives me more money right now. Uh, in fact, offer payment. Let's try that. Okay, no. Um... In payment of service, we are not your servants, friend, are we? That should work, but for military access, there we go. So I'm going 4k through that, and they can have my military access. I fully trust them. Fully trust them. Um, we need to try. Ah, oh, I've got to try and break this. Salute, kids. They're a client state of ruddy Athens. And I don't want to offer Athens any money. Um, I'm going to use this money to build up more forces um, or improve my economy. Uh, I wonder if the I see any. No. Greetings. Now speak plainly. Not even a defensive alliance. Um, looking for anyone that I could try and get peace with that I'm. Uh, what about the salute? Oh, yeah, the not salute kids. Syracuse. No. Okay. Um, Egypt. We're at war with you. No, there is just no way. I'm steadfast, but there's just no way. Okay, so we're going to have to go full on out against them. Um, what have we got over here? Uh, Egypt managed to take this settlement here. We need to sort something out here. Yes, because they managed to come up uh, last turn. And we can, we can go and actually push and hit them. Um, because they're, they're going to go and take Delminium, and then I am going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, have I got any agents nearby? I have an agent here. Oh, hello. Yes. Come here, agent. My dignitary. Come here, and let's see. Oh, God, none of these are great for, <laughs> for a, uh, for a critical. I'm going to risk it, though. I'm going to go... The thing is, that's the highest positive. I'm going to go through the one with the highest critical, which is 17% here. Fingers crossed. It's been successful, but how successful? Ah, oh, cannot move or reinforce. Fantastic, which means... I should be able to do this. Night attack it. Why not? And then we're going to auto-resolve our way through here with an aggressive stance. And we now get behind them. I could liberate them. I could liberate them. 
uh, which would give me an army, uh, a settlement to hold against them. But I think I could probably hold it. Um, I'd be, would that be Epirus? I don't know. Mm, but, but, but. The thing is, I've actually, I don't get any benefits from having military allies in my victory deck. I need to take them myself, so I am just going to occupy myself. That's actually going to push Athens away. They now can't move, so they're stuck there. I can try and hit them again. Um, I could try and bring my spy over, but unfortunately it's not going to get there in time. Um, I'd love to be able to pull this army away. But again, I can't. I've got to leave my force over here for now. Um, we've held the north. Okay. I really want to get this army moving. Um, and I want to like try and hit Pontus or raid them or something. Just do something to weaken them. Um, let's just have a look at our, our enemies along here. So, Bithyent, we have Pontus over here. If we could take them out. They're a client state of Egypt. That's why they're so powerful. Okay. If we could take them out along here. But then these guys. Yeah, it's Ath oh, wow, it's Athens all over here. It's ridiculous. Bithynia, their clients say as well. I think, if anything, I'm just going to try and take out Bithynia. Rather than pushing to Pontus, where I have no position of power to fall back to, I'm going to try and take out um, Nematocena. And it's going to be a risky move, but I am going to try and sail my way down here. Oh no, it would be actually faster to go that way, would it? Yeah, it probably would be. So we're going to try and force march ourselves down here. I'm going to risk this. I haven't left Olbia for a very, very long time. In fact, now we have this extra money, I really should go around and upgrade other settlements that need uh, upgrading, because we want to boost our, our economy. A king can get an upgrade. Uh, Istros can get an upgrade, and that's going to be all our money, but that's going to, you know, start doing things. Uh, it's got to be careful of the public order. Food is just about okay at the moment. Right. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Nope, we need to sign some stuff. Oh, that's because... Well, this guy gets to upgrade. Well done. And you are just stuck in these guys over here. End the turn. Yes, forget about him. He's dead to us right now. I suppose we move up to Odessos. Oh, we should have pulled that back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Um, oh, yeah, they're coming to attack me at Syracuse. Oh, how could they? Oh, no, yeah, they could move. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm spawning quite a few units here. I've got to face off this uh, navy, and I have to face off this army. If I can get a good win here, then I can blockade that army for a little while, then we should be okay. Let's give it a go. If not, my army's going to be utterly destroyed here, and I'm going to have to have a new... Well, I'm going to raise a new force with far stronger units to send down here. The reason why I have so many Thracian warriors is because... Um, well, one, the, the unit mod I was using messed up with patch 15. I couldn't actually recruit any more powerful units for a little while. And the other reason being is that I need quite heavily upgraded buildings to be able to get to this level of uh, of units at the moment. So um, here we go. Right, deployable defences remaining. That's awesome. Um, oh god, I wish I could have those balls up on here. Well, the other way around, on the top of the hill going the other way. Um, they're all coming from over here. Oh, in fact, that way we could actually have the balls uh, charging on down then as they, as they land in their ships. If we do it here, then they're not going to roll. They're going to have to go up here. I have to have my balls here. Or the balls could go here. I could put my balls here. That sounds so wrong. Why would I want to put my balls up on top of a cliff? Lionheart, activate ball power. Uh, that's not much of a slope, really, is it? That's not much of a slope either, to be fair. Um, we're just going to have to hope that they're actually going to be able to push them. I can see that doing a fair bit of damage down there. We'll give that a go. We'll see if, they'll, if the balls will work there. Um... Oh, the balls could go here. That'd be pretty good. That should surely take them down there. That's okay. Um, so we want barricades to try and block the enemy off. Um, well, they normally come this way, which would be quite good if we could stop them coming coming through here. But we only have one barricade. Um, or at least slow them down a little bit so we could pin them a little while. Um, stakes. Let's get stakes as well. Stop cavalry charging in. Although cavalry is probably going to come over here. Uh, as well. Sharp stone beds, where well, we want them slowed here. So that we can delay them as well. Although we should probably put them at the gateway. I, I assume the enemy's going to come over there. They're blatantly going to form up over here, and then I'm screwed because all my defences are over this way. Uh, but we, we kind of have to go with that and have to hope that they're going to come. They're totally going to come from over there. I know I know it rather than over here. But, yeah, we'll have to risk it. I'm leaving this bit completely open, but we'll just allow them to spill down and then we'll hit them or something like that. I don't know. We'll work something out. Okay, right. Group 1 here. 
Group 2, right, so Group 2 is going to hold here. Group 1, we might try to start with to hold you guys up here. And then flank on round all that. Actually, let's just keep you guys here and we'll, we'll deploy you in a moment. I'm not quite sure I'm going to put you yet. Uh, likewise, you guys are going to go here with that enabled. And then you guys are going to go up over here. Uh, and I wonder which unit's going to set the balls on fire. Oh, sorry. You guys are all here. You'll take down the ships as they come on in. Oh, let's hope that works. Right, these two ships. Here, please. And you're facing the right way this time. Yes, good. Let's risk it. See where all the reinforcements clearly come from over here, rather than up over here where I need them to. Oh, yeah, totally not coming where my balls are. Oh, wow, I didn't even realise we had this bit here. Yeah. Um, you're kind of coming from the right angle-ish. That'll do. Didn't even realise about that bit. But then my balls will be no good there either, so I think my balls are wasted. If they are, I'm totally going to set them off anyway, because they look fun. But they're going to come round and land either along here or along this bit. Rather than landing here so that my balls could hit them. Which just sucks. I didn't even realise we had that gate there. That's crazy. Okay, well let's get you guys down here because it looks like we'll probably need you. Got my Thracian nobles here just in case, but I think a lot of them are landing there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, who's charging out? It must be a cavalry unit. Yeah, auxiliary cavalry coming to say hey. Yeah, there. What the? What the hell? Oh, okay, you're missing all my units. That's not cool. They're gonna go all the way around there and land there now. Oh, I really wanted to put my set my balls on fire. Well, I'm gonna set them on fire anyway. They were anyway, we're gonna come back here and then I would have been able to use them. But we're gonna we're gonna use the balls. Set my balls on fire. Wasted balls. Oh, they wouldn't have worked that great anyway. Oh, they might do. They might. They're about to hit the slope. Come on. No, you're going to be good. Yes, look at that. Momentum. That ball would have crushed a ship. Flaming ball away. Go, balls, go. Oh, it's got some speed now. Look at that. All the other balls have just reached the uh, this bit here as well. They'd have gone. They would have worked eventually, just not very well. They're all going around there, so none of them are deploying here. Okay, that's cool. Oh, those guys have been wrecked. They're hitting my barricade, which is annoying, because they're now stopping... Well, it means that now there's no blockade. And they went well, They went through the stakes as well. How? How did they manage to get through the stakes and still live? That's not cool. Well, now they blocked that bit, or wrecked it, rather. So that doesn't get me any bonuses, because it's pretty broken. Great. Right, you guys are gonna go here. My other skirmish is gonna go up here, and we're gonna we're gonna flank round them. Have to move quickly though. Oh, oh, we got guys here. Peltas, hit these guys. Run, 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 warriors, run! We're being attacked at the harbour. Yeah. Firepot Barim Legionaries. We've got a couple of units ready to take them down. It's all good. Need to wait for all these guys to disembark and then we can get a charge in. Come on. I like how they just instantly wrecked my building. That sucks. Come on, let me charge you. Here we go. Here's the charge. Thwack. Guys, run away. Seriously, what are you doing? Charge them there. Charge them there. That's all good. I think we've... Yeah, we've wrecked them there. That's all good. Okay. 
So if we can't hit them up from here, we're going to flank round with my men. It's just the basic idea is to pin them here, pin and hold here for as long as possible, and then we will flank round with my other guys, my other Dresian warriors. They're going to be so tired by the time I do this, though. Get them, get them to walk a little bit. No, guys, don't don't fire, please. These guys, they've shattered. Okay, cool. Charging in to break these guys up. Wreck them all. Wreck them all. Save my men, because otherwise you're going to get broken. That's it. Break these guys. Oh, nice. Nice one. Peltas, you're doing great. They're going to wave and die. You've got Triario over there. Cool, they've all broken. Okay. I have these guys down here to charge back up the other way. Yeah, doubt any of these guys are actually going to be able to hit, so we're going to get these skirmishes down here. I mean, that's our victory. Actually, we could get these guys. Let's hold these guys here for when we'll pull back and let them take the center, and then we're going to charge in behind. Meanwhile, we are slowly, very slowly. We're going to have to get them to run now. We're going to charge them from behind. That's it. Come on, break these guys. I have no idea why these guys have the annoying, annoying wish to charge them like that. But let's get the charges in. So we're charging the first couple of these guys. Let's get these guys in the other way. Here we go. Send the charges in. Oh, they've got they got a couple of us, a couple of them behind. Hit these guys here. Hit the levies. Where do you guys come from? Oh, a few more of you landed. Oh, up there. Okay. That's cool. We'll totally get you guys. Not a problem. Okay, throw some warriors around here now, please. We've got to try... Oh, dear. No, Peltas, why would you do this? I knew that was going to happen. I thought the stone beds would hold them off a little bit longer. Pull these guys over here. Right. You lot charge in here now, please. Break their general, come on. If we could break a general, that'd be lovely. You guys run out of ammo. No, you haven't. Why are you being douches? Oh, you guys have run out. Right, you guys pull back then. Throw these guys in. Men, just hold them all for now. Throw your nobles over here. Oh, we've got cavalry incoming. I know you're so tired. I know, I know, guys. Okay, throw these guys in. You've got a charge bonus uh, and a bonus versus cavalry. So hopefully we can kind of counter this charge bonus here. Just wreck this cavalry unit here really quickly. General, keep on pushing. We're going to need you guys here. Although, let's break those guys as soon as we can. Come on, take these Felites stack. We're going to need to retake the square. Men, I need you to hold as long as you can over here. Helps that you're, they're not really legionaries. They're Soki, Equiteus, Organari. Right, these guys are going to need to go now as well. But they're seeing, they're starting to see a couple of my units come down here, which is not good. Come on, keep wrecking these guys. Keep wrecking them, keep wrecking them, keep wrecking them. That's what we need. General, you're not equipped for this, but you're going to have to go for it anyway. Horses of Mars, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I know. Use your headhunt ability, whack these guys out. They look awesome, they're legionaries in full uh, Lorica Segmentata. Come on, these guys have surely got to go, they're wavering. Okay, I'm leaving them to go help my general. Let's go get them, come on. Whoa, come on, guys. You can bring these Velites down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Break them, break them, break them. My men are starting to go over here. We need those reinforcements now. 
They're putting more and more cavalry up here. That would probably be some skirmishes. Actually, let's just hit these guys over here. Okay, we got those guys here. Right, skirmishes, pulling you down here. We're gonna recapture this square. Hopefully, re-establish the balance of power here. If I do win this battle, I'm gonna have to pull away from Syracuse because they're just gonna hit me with more units. I need to pull back to a place of power and push back up again. Keep bringing them down, keep bringing them down. Come on, charge them all, General. Right, we're recapturing here. So I'm just going to pull these guys down here because I want to hit these guys at the side here. Keep going. Keep charging these guys. Let's try and bring them down. Keep pushing, men. Keep pushing. We're going to have to get them really accurate with these. But it's here. But we're starting to lose men. So, yeah, they're starting all to go here. We need you to hold a little bit longer. Take these guys off skirmish mode, because we need this to be dead on. Let's hit these guys in the back as they flee. Hit these guys here, hit these guys here. Yeah, they're turning They're turning to face my, my general and his units here. Where's an exhausted unit there? Try and take two of my units back out here. We're going to pull them round and charge them from the side. So meanwhile, the rest of you are going to have to pull your weight here by pushing up against them. Skirmish, just pull round a little bit here. Okay, hold there. Come on. Oh, that general's surely got to go. Come on. These guys are all about to go, which is not good. Okay, guys, I need you running around so bad. My general's about to activate round two of his various abilities. Being, being bogged down and we don't have the charge bonus right now. He's just activated his headhunt ability. No, you guys have got a hold. Come on, you're not allowed to go. Go, go, go. Come on, you need to strike these guys in the back. Charge bonuses at this point would be life-saving. Okay, my missiles, my skirmishes, have just got to hold them at bay for now. I'm going to kill that general soon. Come on. We can do this. Ah, oh, no. that's That could potentially break everything for us. Come on. Come on. Hold up. 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 I know you're exhausted, guys. Skirmishes, just keep these guys held in here, the extraordinary. Come on. I know, I know, I know. Alright, I'm going to hit fast forward a little bit because I want them moving a little bit faster. Hit these guys in the back, hit them in the back. Come on, get charges in. No, they're all going to—they're probably going to start breaking before I can do anything here. But here's the charge. In. Here's the charge bonus coming in against the legionaries. This is what hold it, is holding us up for so long. We've got proper legionaries here. Ah, damn, they're going to have a victory at Syracuse. Finally managed to break their general over there. Oh, we couldn't get them round in time. Ah, shouldn't have piled them all in to start with. Damn it. And they've got a win here. I'm going to hit fast forward now. Well, we knew it was going to be potentially be a loss at Syracuse anyway. We'd have to pull back. It's a shame that we couldn't take more of them with us. Keep going. Keep pushing against these, these units here. Come on. Oh, God, they're all going. They're all going. Ah, no, they couldn't hold it. Costly enemy victory. Yeah, I know. Damn it. We're up against a larger force of slightly better equipped men. We killed 2,417 of the 3,180 strong force. Uh, we lost 2,239, but they will be killed in the end. Most kills gained by looking 
like it's going to be skirmishes. No, Thracian Warriors 205, followed up by General 182. He fought well. He fought hard. A valiant defeat. A valiant, but not enough. And so Rome reclaims Syracuse. I'm going to have to now hold the, the boot and try and hold those units down here as long as I can until I can marshal my army at Rome. I really wanted to nip across the sea and take out Alia. But that's not going to happen, unfortunately, unless they can pull back. They're pulling back to Lillabame a little bit, but they're looking like they're going to land at uh, Corsentia. They're pulling quite a few forces back, actually. They're relanding a few forces there at Syracuse to reestablish themselves. That's my problem. I'm far too spread out with far too many many enemies on all fronts, but I had no choice in the end when... In fact, this is, this is still repercussions from part, what, five or six of uh, my Let's Play, where I had to abandon the desert and flee north. All the enemies I made then are pretty much still the enemies I have now, and other ones have come to join the fray as I've grown in strength and power. Oh yes, that's it, Bactria. Keep pushing. Can you not attack these folk? Your bravery in this would surely be worthy of a bard song. Uh, no, I'm actually not. I'm going to decline that straight up, actually. I don't want... I know I'm probably going to go to war with them if I can push back against the Lusitani, but... Um, uh, not for now. Not for now. Ah, they're going to ambush me because I'm in force march. They look a little bit weakened. If I can, if I can hold my ground and turn it around, I mean the order resolve says I should get a 60% remaining force. I should be able to turn around with my veterans and face these guys. But we'll have to wait until next time to see that. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this part. Please remember to comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in joining the Legion. If you haven't already, make sure you vote on my Fall of the Samurai voting video, uh, the campaign. And uh, make sure you check out Kingdom Come Deliverance, my alpha gameplay uh, first look impressions. So anyway, until next time, ciao for now.